let's just catch up and chat, shall we? I have had so much going on in my life lately. So many things that I never get to share with you all because I'm just so, so busy. And I just uh, have a relaxing afternoon, which is very rare. So I thought I would sit down and just get you all caught up in what's going on in my life. Hey there, my name is Renee. This is my channel, Welcome to My Curls. And for you all that follow me and watch every single video, you're gonna know probably most of everything that I'm talking about today. But if you're new to my channel and I start talking about a subject and you're like, what is she talking about? I'm sure I've done a video on it, so I will link videos in the description box below this video. So if you're new, you can go back and watch some of my old videos and uh, get up to speed. But today's video is just, I just need to catch my breath. I am literally exhausted. I've had so much going on, so many random things. It's the middle of the summer, and you all know that I own an ice cream shop called Craving the Curls in downtown Paducah. Summer means ice cream. Ice cream means busy season. And right now, Craving the Curls is open six days a week, 10 hours a day. And so that is a whole something in itself. It keeps me running around like a crazy person. So as I'm filming this right now, it's Friday morning, about 10 o'clock, and I have to work at the ice cream shop all weekend. I have to be there at five o'clock tonight. I work from five to 10, but it will be about 11.30 when I get home. And then I work Saturday night, same thing, 5 to 11.30. So my whole weekend is busy, busy with ice cream. This week has been nuts. And it seems like in the summertime, every week for me is nuts. I woke up Monday morning. I, I had an appointment, which got canceled at the last minute. I had a haircut this week. I have a mammogram appointment this morning. That's why I'm dressed and ready and getting ready to leave the house. I had to go to the ice cream shop and do my normal stuff, my cleaning, my delivery, my food shopping, all of those things. But it just seems like I have had no time for myself. And so I'm going to take that this afternoon between my mammogram appointment and I'm going to go eat lunch with my husband right after my mammogram appointment. But then I'm going to come home and I'm going to get a couple hours to just simply chill before I have to go to work for the evening. Speaking of downtime, let me share with you what I love to do in my downtime. How I kind of calm my mind and I do that by playing my favorite video game called June's Journey. And yes, June's Journey is the sponsor of today's video. You can download June's Journey for free by clicking on the link that's located in the description box below this video. June Parker's sister has been murdered and she's trying to solve the mystery, but along the way, she uncovers many of her family's hidden secrets. June has a knack for getting herself into some pretty tricky situations, and along the way, she solves her friend's problems in her own very witty way. It is a thrilling but relaxing murder mystery story. I really enjoy navigating my way through June's journey as June's sidekick. We're detectives, and we gotta figure out what happened to June's sister. This game is full of mystery, love, friendship, fun, excitement, but it's also relaxing at the same time. It's like hide and seek. You use your magnifying glass to find hidden objects in different scenes, then collect clues to solve the murder mystery. But my favorite thing is where you match objects. It's sort of like putting together a puzzle. It's also so interesting that June's journey is set back in the 1920s. So their vintage clothing and hairstyles and hats and boots and dresses, they're lovely. It just makes me happy. June's Journey is a free to download mobile game. It's available on Android and iOS devices, as well as PC through Facebook games. So again, thank you so much to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. And just a reminder that you can always download June's Journey for free by clicking the link in the description box below this video. And I know that you're gonna love June's Journey as much as I do. My week has been nuts. I'm going to show you my calendar, which is on the wall in my office. It's just every day has been packed with something. I don't mind being busy. I love to work. I love to go, go, go. But at the end of the week like this, I don't know if something about it has just caught up with me. And then knowing that I have to work tonight and tomorrow, and I honestly am not going to get downtime, like true downtime until Sunday. I just need to take a breath. And I thought I would do that with you all. So how was my week going? 
On the schedule, first thing Monday morning at 10 a.m., I was supposed to have an appointment. It had to be canceled that morning, so that like put me in a tailspin because I had my day planned out. Well, I ended up staying home on Monday, editing videos, getting stuff done around the house, but then Monday afternoon, I had to go to the ice cream shop, we have our delivery service. I have to clean. I have to do all these things. So that was my Monday. Tuesday, I released a YouTube video about my new surface cleaner attachment for my power washer. And so I spent most of the morning answering questions and dealing with that video. And if you watch that video, I told you that I was going to later in the week do my driveway and the sidewalk and get it all clean and sparkly. And I did that yesterday. So later in this video, I'm going to go outside and show you my beautiful driveway. On Wednesday, I was live on Amazon. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you don't know what Amazon Live is, I just released a video that if you follow me and watch all my videos, you would have seen. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link it right up here or here somewhere. You can watch that video. I explain and go into all the details about what is Amazon Live. It's a new live streaming platform hosted by Amazon and I've been going live every Wednesday. So I did that. So all day Wednesday, I was in a frantic uh, a panic. I had my entire morning to get dressed and ready and prepared. I went live at 1.30. I was live for a little over an hour and a half. And then when I got off of the live, I was pooped. I wasn't in the mood to cook dinner, so we actually went out and got pizza Wednesday night. Speaking of cooking food, you know I love to cook. I've been cooking, you know, I cook most nights, but where I live, a lot of the vegetables are in in the Hayden Garden right now. Randy's parents have a huge garden. We get tomatoes, corn, squash, uh, zucchini, green beans, and right now it's corn and tomato season, so I have been trying to cook every night. We did a tomato and basil pasta last night. One night we did bacon, stewed potatoes, corn on the cob, fresh tomato, and cornbread. That was our dinner. So whatever comes in in the garden, we try to eat it up right then, and I got a a delivery of peaches, a literal crate of peaches that I ordered from my niece. Her cheer team was selling peaches. We can't really get good peaches here in Kentucky. So there is something called the peach truck that comes up from Georgia. So I ordered a crate of peaches from her and peaches ripen so fast. Like I have been eating four peaches a day because I don't want my peaches to go bad. I don't want to throw them out. I want to eat them. So we have done peach cobbler, we have grilled peaches. I've been putting peaches in my oatmeal every morning. I've been eating peaches for my afternoon snack. I'm about peached out, honestly. <laughs> I think I have maybe 10 peaches left. I have to eat those up this weekend. And it was raspberry, blueberry, and blackberry season here. So for, at our ice cream shop, we get all of our fruit locally if we can find it. And so raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, I got them by the mounds, like five crates or, fry, or five loads of each of those berries at the ice cream shop. And I always order a special carton just for me. So I bring those berries home. I eat a lot of them fresh, but then the rest of them I freeze. And you lay your berries out on a big baking sheet and put it in the freezer. And when they're frozen, then you can put them in a Ziploc baggie and they're loose when you do it that way. And I love to put fruit in my oatmeal, which I eat every single morning. So now I have all of my berries to get me through the winter, frozen, fresh, yay me. So I got that accomplished this week. And it has been so hot here, I have not been able to go on my morning walk, which has made me a little grumpy. You all know that I love to walk. I love to get up early and go outside, but we have been under a massive heat wave here. It has been, like honestly almost like a month like it'll break for a couple days and then it's right back today it is supposed to be 102 degrees it is already 90 something degrees outside when i got up at six o'clock this morning it was in the 80s and where i normally walk it's pretty much in direct sunshine there are very few shady spots and I just can't do it i have tried to do it i put on my visor i go early i try to stay in the shade but i cannot do it it is so hot, and I certainly cannot take Maxie and Pollux on a walk in the morning, so they're grumpy too. They're bored. They're just kind of moping around the house and laying around, and Randy and I have been trying to take them on a walk at night when the sun goes down, 
But during the day, Pollux just gives me these puppy dog eyes like, mom, when are we going to go on our walk? And I'm, I'm sorry, Pollux. It's just so hot. He doesn't understand why we aren't going on our normal walk. Are you just bored, boo? I know. I know, buddy. It's just so hot. We just can't get out, can we? Look at that face, y'all. I oh, know. Mama knows. The back door's open. He has the whole entire yard. He can run, but he goes out there. He'll stay a couple minutes, and that boy is coming right back inside. That is how hot it is. The weather here is no joke right now. And then Brecken's been home for the summer. She is actually leaving any minute now. She's headed back to college because she's moving from one apartment to another apartment. So she and her boyfriend, Blake, have the truck packed up and they're heading out this morning. They're gonna be gone all weekend. <sighs> Thank goodness Blake is actually gonna move her. I don't have to go up there and do it. Her old apartment and her new apartment are so close together. They're just gonna take truckloads of furniture and that'll be that. So they're gonna be gone all weekend, which means I am kitty cat sitting. Mochi and Mia are on my to-do list this weekend, so I'm gonna be in charge of kitties and dogs. Hi, Mochi. This is what she does every time she sees me coming up the stairs. Hey, Mia. I'm on kitty cat duty this weekend, girls. Hey, Mochi. I'm on kitty cat duty this weekend. What do you think about that, Mia? Yeah, you sweet, sweet girls. Sweet, sweet mochi. Here's your soccer ball. Want that? So, getting her new apartment set up she is has been an ordeal in itself this week. Brecken lives with four other girls. So, there's a total of five girls in this house. And Brecken has taken on the task of being in charge of, like, all of the things. So, she has had to get all of the electrical services, gas, water, internet, renter's insurance, like all the stuff. It, uh, and it has been something because we're not in that city. We've had, or she, I've just kind of been helping and answering questions. She's had to call all these utilities and ask questions and get things set up. And is there a deposit in just to get all of this handled by the time she shows up today or the landlord won't give them the keys to the new apartment. So dealing with four other girls and Brecken and all of these things, that is taking up a lot of my time. And then on a little personal side note, I started my period a week early. So that has been going on this week. I mean, what the heck? And ladies, I have a question for you. It's hot here. I'm outside a lot. I work a lot. I get sweaty and I have got a heat rash in my boob. Does that happen to y'all? Like, like right in there, I've got a little heat rash. Don't know what to do about it. It's itching. It's not hurting. It's itching, but it's definitely a heat rash. I can tell when I'm outside, like yesterday when I was power washing the driveway and I had on a sports bra and I was sweating and, you know, air's not getting in there. My heat rash got flared up. So that is a whole thing. Speaking of being on my period, I want to just give you all a little sneak peek of something that's going to be coming up in a future video. Not to get into all the female thingies, but you all know I have a whole female thing going on. I've been very open about it and talked about it in other videos. I'll link one of those right up here so you can get up to speed if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I have started using a menstrual cup instead of tampons. I've been trying this out for a couple months now and y'all, I'm in love with the menstrual cup. Well, let's hold on a minute. I don't know that I'm in love with the menstrual cup. If I've got to use something, I have now decided that a menstrual cup is the way to go. And I'm going to do a whole video about it. And this is my new best friend when it comes to period things. So stay tuned for that video. Speaking of videos, I have so many videos coming up. Video content ideas are just flowing out of my head. I keep a list on my phone and I, I, there's just so much happening. I have so many videos that, well, so many, several that I have recorded, that I'm in the process of editing, videos that I have to record, video ideas that I need to record in the future, plus all of my theme and content ideas for my Amazon live streams. I think my brain is going to explode. 
two questions for you all on content ideas. I have been thinking about doing a week in my life video. Would you all like to see that? If I literally took the camera and took you with me for an entire week, day by day, and showed you what I did, how I spent my time, would that interest you? Would you enjoy seeing that? Thumbs up, thumbs down, comment below and let me know. And then another idea is ask me anything and I will answer. <laughs> That kind of opens up a can of worms, but I see so many people doing those videos. I think it would be fun and interesting to answer all of your questions. I don't think I've ever done a video. Well, I know I haven't. I've never done a video like that. I have done a couple videos, kind of get to know me videos where I gave you information about myself, but I have never directly asked you all to ask me questions and I will answer them. So, in the comments below and now is your chance if there is something that you want to know about me my life my husband my daughters ask me now and i'm going to compile all of those questions and that will show up in a future video something else i've spent my time doing and i don't know that i've ever told you all this before but i own an ice cream shop which is a business i own that business and i keep my own books I make the schedules for our 19 employees. I keep the books, which is payroll. I pay the taxes. I do the reporting monthly, quarterly, annually. I reconcile all the books. I do all of those things. I handle our bank account. I do not have somebody from the outside that comes in and does that for me. This girl does it because the second quarter of 2022 just ended. And so everything has been due. I have spent so much time this week doing monthly and quarterly reports and payroll and schedules. Like I said, we have 19 employees at Craving the Curls and this is late July and seven of those employees are college students. They are leaving to go back to college in the next couple of weeks and high school. Schools start around here in early August. So trying to understand and finagle everybody's school schedules, their sports schedules, their outside activity schedules, and make a schedule for craving the curls. But I've got the schedules done for the next couple of weeks. It's taken me a lot of time to get a grasp on what's happening, but that's done. So I've been able to mark that off of my list. Thank goodness. Here they are. Here's the kids. Hey, man, come up here and talk to them. Say hi. Say they're bored. I can't tell it's going to get in a picture. They're bored. Yes, I know. It's hot out. We can't go on our walk. It's a whole thing. Mom's not happy about it either, Moo. And honestly, I'm looking forward to it cooling down just a little bit. Uh, it's, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think I'm looking forward to fall. Because in the fall, I can go on my walks. I am not dripping wet with sweat. I actually enjoy my walks a little bit better, but it's not so hot outside. And our ice cream shop changes its hours. We are open shorter hours every day and less days during the week. So I think I'm looking forward to fall, believe it or not. Something I just realized when I was filming this video for you all, I am wearing the same olive green shorts jumper that I have been wearing all summer. I told you all when I bought this thing back in the spring that I was gonna wear the heck out of it and I'm not even kidding. I have worn the heck out of it. You have probably seen me so many times in videos in this jumper but it is so hot outside y'all and this little jumper is so lightweight so easy to wear so easy to throw on it looks cute and by golly i'm gonna get my money's worth so here i am again in my little jumper just a little shorts romper i love it drawstring waist boop boop I think I've been talking long enough. I have a mammogram appointment that I have to get to and then lunch with my husband. Do y'all wanna go with me? Why not, right? Let's go. Come on guys, let's go potty. Mom's gotta go. Let's go outside and potty. Oh, Paula, he running. You're running, Boo Bear? All right, let's go out and potty. Come on, Moo. Come on, go potty, go potty. Go, 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 go. You can do it. Go potty. Yo, look, here's all of Pollux's toys that I picked up from the yard yesterday. No, go potty, Moo. Go, 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 go. Whoa. And I've been trying to keep my plants watered, my diplodenias. They look good, 
but wow it is so hot i came out here yesterday and watered them really really good so i think they're okay what are you doing back in here so fast i told you they won't stay out there a second it is just too hot okay let's get y'all a treat because mom's gotta go Ooh, loud treat for Pollux. Treat for Demu. Get my drink. I know, what's in mama's box? There's always something showing up, isn't it guys? Always something. So this will be an upcoming video is a whole Amazon sweater haul. And yes, sweaters. I love sweaters. I don't want thick sweaters, I want thin sweaters, I want cute sweaters, I want baggy sweaters that I can wear with jeans and leggings. It's all about comfort for me in the winter because I hate winter, but I love a good sweater. So I'm gonna have some great, hopefully, sweaters to show you all in an upcoming sweater haul. But here's the update on my driveway. Look how clean this is y'all look at this you saw in the other video the disaster of a driveway and this was totally black but look right there can you see where the line stops well yesterday i was out here in the heat of the day doing all of this i got to that line and ran out of gas sure as heck did so i called it quits but look at this drastic difference that my little power washer attachment made huge 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 difference but i got all this clean it looks so incredibly good this sidewalk is done all the way down and i'm so proud of myself but i guess this yucky part will get taken care of this weekend when randy gets me more gas we're here we're here time for my mammogram can't take inside sorry but i'll see you when i get out and we're gonna have lunch with randy so I'm waiting in my little room. I just had my 3D mammogram and I love having mammograms here because they send them right to the doctor. They're reviewed. If they need a better image, I just wait right here. They'll redo whatever and then they come in and give me my results while I'm here. It's so great. I do not have to wait to hear back from them for days. See, already done and I have a clean bill of health. Yay for my boobies. So it's that quick. I've already got my papers. My mammogram is A-OK. -okay. My boobies are perfect. But I love this imaging center so much. It's a family owned imaging center. It's not part of some big huge hospital. And the women here are fantastic. You get your results immediately. So I'm gonna give a shout out to Lundberg X-Ray and Imaging. So Randy and I decided to meet up at Jimmy John's just for something quick and easy. Plus it's hot out, just kind of something small and light. But a funny story is when I was getting my mammogram, my the lady doing it said, well, that's a cute jumper. Which is so funny because I just said to you all, I wear this jumper all the time. And then every, it's, and it's true. Every time I wear it, somebody comments on the jumper, how cute it is. So that's why I just keep on wearing it. Just wave and smile. So on the way home, I had to stop and get gas. And just to give y'all an update, gas now in Western Kentucky is $3.78 a gallon. I think the highest that I personally saw, it was like $4.85. I know when we went to Milwaukee to visit our daughter, it was over $5 a gallon, but it is back down now to $3.78. Yay, and hopefully it'll keep dropping actually change your plans my dad just called and my aunt squashes in in her garden and she brought a bunch of squash over to my mom and dad's house for me so i'm gonna head over there and pick it up so i can have fried squash this weekend so i'm at my parents picking up some squash and they don't want to be on camera sorry but i wanted to come outside and show you the view from their back door they have a huge deck their house overlooks the tennessee river and you all have seen in other videos where i've been in downtown paducah and i showed you the ohio river well the tennessee and the ohio actually merge meet right here in paducah so right up the way the tennessee and the ohio boop fork together like that uh, but my parents live on the Tennessee portion. And this is where I grew up with the Tennessee River right in my backyard. And this is where I grew up. So I've always been a river rat. I used to come right down here, run right down this boat ramp. We had a boat dock. I used to swim in the river, boat in the river. But uh, 
Yeah, this is the view from my parents' house. I got a bag full of squash here from my Aunt Nancy. Well, why'd y'all follow me in here? And the cord is in and we're down to six ears. Well, I'm home with the boys. Come here, boys. They missed me even though I was only gone <laughs> two and a half hours. I got squash from my parents. I got a mouthful of chocolate covered coffee beans, sorry. And now I'm gonna sit down at my computer and just edit, edit videos until I have to go to work tonight at five. But that is what I have been up to. Just trying to find time to get everything done. My dogs, the cats, my daughters, my husband, me, my business, my brand. There's just so much right now. I'm looking forward to Sunday, which is the one day of the week that I don't work at Craven the Curls. And I'm gonna relax in the pool, get some sunshine, have a cocktail, read a book, and just take a big breath. But thanks for joining me. Now you're up to speed and I will see you later. Or we will see you later.